What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Michael. Woo! And today, I have the best center built for you guys. I was going through all the builds, and I was trying to say, what's the best center for 2K22? And I came across this build. So this build is the best center build and the most rarest name for a center. Like, when y'all see this build name for a center, you're like, that's a point guard. That's a shooting guard. That's not a center. But y'all, when y'all get this build, it's overpowered. This build has 94 badges. 94 badges. So you know this build will be if it has 94 badges. And y'all know... I don't really like bigs. I'm a really a guard. I always put the shooting guard, shooting guard, but I might actually use this build. So to start off with, I'm going to go power forward. I have to go power forward because that's the best for this position. Like the badges and stuff is the best for a power forward, basically. You know, the hand doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. That all oh, doesn't matter. You put what you want for that. That doesn't affect your player at all. Now for the height on this build, we're going to go 6'8". We have to go 6'8 for this build. Just because you get a little faster, I'm all about speed, so I go. I always go with the speed and the fastest build. Think about it, if you're the fastest big, you're burning by any other center, so that's good. And for the weight, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go like the lowest. I'm gonna go 219, only because you want to keep the strength. You need strength because you're gonna be in a pain most of the time. But with this build, you could guard guards. You could clamp guards. Guards are really locked down with this build. You're longer. You're not. Fast, but you're a little bit fast, and you have long arms. This build is OP. Now, for the arms, I'm going to keep it at 7-2 because it's good. You have an 82 three-point with a power forward. A 6-8 power forward with 82-3 lights out, and it's so easy to shoot on 2K22, especially with the jump shot I made. Y'all look at my other video. For my jump shot, it's lights out. Now, body shape doesn't matter. I always go with the fine because I feel like build looks stupid, like a bodybuilder. Nobody wants that. So, we're going to go, we're going to start off with close shot. For close shot, we're going to go to a 75. You don't need the max close shot out at all because you already long. You have a 7-2 wingspan. You can just put the ball up. And you're 6'8". The goal is 10 foot. Just put the ball up. Like, you don't need a maxed out close shot at all. Now, for driving layup, go 85. That's more than enough for a driving layup, especially for a player of your height with your strength. And if you if you playing against a guard, you, the guard has zero chances of contesting your shot because like you're so tall and you have a high layup. All right, for a driving dunk, I mean you're going to get contact dunks regardless. But I personally is going with a 90. You need to put a 90 if you want to get this build name. This is a rare build name and the best big on 2K22. Now for standing dunk, I'm going with an 85. Just because you're already tall. Like, you don't need the max standing dunk on. You're already tall. Like, it, it's put two and two together. Save your points. I'm already at a 47, which is pretty good. I haven't really used many points yet, but just save your points for other stuff. Okay, for shooting, you know, I'm going to go for 87 for shooting. You're big, so why not max it out? Like, you want the most and the best shooting. You want the highest three point you could get. And that's only for mid-range. Mid-range, you're going to go to 87. Now, for... Three point, me personally, I'm maxing out. 82, 3.5 power forward. That is like so OP, like super OP. And for your uh, free throw, you want to go to 85. Just in case you play a uh, program, rec, or anything like that, go to 85. Now, pack, pass accuracy, you go to a 75 because you will need to pass the ball after a rebound to your, let's say you got you playing with a sharp, and you got that nice pass with bullet passer. Like, you you a 6'8 power forward with bullet passer and a 75 pass accuracy, that's overpowered already. Now, ball handle, I'm going to max that out just because you want the best ball handling you could get. Like, an 80 ball handle for a power forward, we talking about the Greek, we talking about Anthony Davis, we talking about KD. Like, this build is overpowered, as y'all can see already. Like, y'all just don't understand how OP this build is. And, you know, I'm all about speed, so I'm going to max the speed with ball out. Like, you just have to max that out. Now, you is a big, right? So, we're going to max interior defense out for sure. Just so you can. You already went too low on the weight. Like, the weight is low, but not too low. But you need interior defense to big to so 250. Like, you don't want them to bully you, so your interior defense is going to help you. So perimeter defense, like I said, this build could go in any position. 
It don't matter if it's guard, small for it, you can guard them. You're not going to max it out, though. You're going to go one tick down to 85, just because that don't help you get an extra badge. It doesn't It doesn't help you get an extra badge at all. For offensive rebound, you're going to go 85, because, like, you already long. Like I said, you already long. And if you play with somebody that can shoot, you don't have to worry about offensive rebounds at all. And for defensive rebound, go to 88. And look, y'all. This bit already has 26 finishing, 27 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 21 defense. Like, y'all, y'all, I don't think I can get no better than this build, honestly. Now, for speed, you already know what we're doing. We maxing it out. We maxing out for speed. And acceleration, we definitely maxing that out because why not, you know? Like, y'all, y'all just don't understand how overpowered this build is, you guys. Like, this build is so overpowered. So... You have 26, 27, 20, and 21. Somebody do the math for me. That's 94 badges. I think this build right here has the most badges on 2K22 out of any position. Now, for take, me personally, just because it has defense, it's a big already, I'm not going to do lock. I'm not going to do lock. That's just, I don't know. I just don't feel like that's, that's right. I'm going limitless range for my primary, and I'm going... Shot creator. Like you can't go wrong with this build, you guys. Like if you get this build, comment below and tell me what this build does in the part. It don't matter if it's 2v2, 3v3, or if they got 1v1. It doesn't even matter what it is. This build is so overpowered. And I watch the name of this build, you guys. Just watch. A slashing shot creator for a power forward. Yeah, Julius Randall. Hexall, Siakam, and Larry Johnson. Like, you guys, this build is so OP. Now I'm going to show you the badges that I'm going to put. Now, y'all don't have to put the badges I'm going to put. And you automatically go to a 99. Like, that's just a no-brainer. Okay. So I'm going to go Grace Under Pressure, Lob City Finisher, Pro Touch. I'm going Mouse in a House. I'm going. Oh, I gotta do putback balls just, just, but just in case you play somebody who can't shoot. I'm going posterizer. Hold on. What is doing? What is doing? Posterizer. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I said. Oh, I know why the badges was in, but I didn't even do it right. Anyways, fearless finisher. Lim limitless takeoff. Unscribble just because you don't get rid of guards, so do that one. And you still have three badges left, and I just do rise up. So for shooting, I'm doing blinders, corner specialist, fade ace, because you're a center. Catch and shoot, dead eye, green machine, lucky seven, um, hot zone hunter for sure. And you still have three badges, you guys, so I'm going to do difficult shots and clutch shooter, like, you have so many badges left that like you don't. I don't even know where to put them. You know, I'm not gonna put ankle break because you probably not gonna guard, play a guard every time, so you don't have to worry about getting your ankles broke. I'm definitely doing put bullet passer, definitely quick first step, definitely tight handles, glue hands that just so you can catch the ball better, diamond just to give a boost to your player shot, bell out just in case you get like a bad shot. You know, and it's, it was hard, but I'm putting post playmaker just because you're a big. You feel me? Now, for defense, I'm doing clamps, interceptor. I'm not going to put big pick dodger. I'm definitely doing rebound chaser, box, minutes. I heard minutes is a great a great badge. Pull goes to just in case somebody pump fake you, and hustler. Like, hustler is a, a good badge, and I'm definitely doing lockdown. And look, you guys, all these badges I just put is overpowered. So if you guys want to see any more rare builds, the best builds, the best jump shot, the best dribble, even streaks. I'm gonna be posting streaks and all. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit at least a 20 game win streak. Like, so like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Roll to 2K. Y'all please help me grow and I'll help y'all. Which anything y'all need, just comment below and I'll post that type of video. My Wolf is out.